Hello. I wanted to say a few things about our online community and one major important aspect that I'd like to draw your attention to right at the beginning. Now, online communities aren't like face-to-face -face communities, obviously. There is a different set of strengths and weaknesses. The weaknesses, particularly in the realm of human connection and the social realm, need to be purposefully addressed and planned for. Toward that end, I thought it might be valuable to direct you toward an important paper on the subject by Anderson, Garrison, and Archer, published in 2000, uh, Critical Inquiry in a Text-Based Environment. It's linked below in the course here, and I'd like you to read it in its entirety. But I wanted to highlight some elements of two important figures. The first figure, uh, figure one, is this figure here. Um, this model attempts to identify the important elements of a learning system. Now, my responsibilities are illustrated by the, the uh, circle at the bottom, teaching presence. And that includes things like setting the curriculum and methods and focusing our discussion. The other two areas include our shared responsibilities, such as cognitive presence, which includes the gamut of the inquiry process, the exchange and connection of ideas, and really addresses critical thinking across the board. But the area I want to bring your attention to most uh, particularly is social presence. And it's important to express that this experience that we're in together is not just about me presenting content, you thinking about it alone, and then handing in homework demonstrating your understanding for me alone. There's this whole other aspect of the course that is important for processing information, challenging your thinking, and learning from one another, really. And that's social presence, the social aspect. For some of you, this may not be intuitive, but I hope you'll come to see how important and how meaningful it can be. Your full connection, both to the material and to your colleagues, is really important. Further, this model isn't a static model, where we check these three boxes and we're done from a design perspective. Uh, it's an ongoing process, continually relying on and supported by these three equally important aspects of a community of inquiry, of our learning experience. So to reiterate the social aspect, your thoughtful, timely participation and inter interaction is very important, especially with our rather modest-sized cohort. Let us all take time to get to know and listen to one another and work together. Please invest yourself and participate. It's an important part of each of our success. So we also have this figure from Garrison, Anderson, and Archer's paper, and it's called Figure 2. It's a model of Dewey's concept of practical inquiry from the 1930s. The two axes that structure the model are action and deliberation, the vertical axes, and perception and conception, that's the horizontal axes. The quadrants around those axes reflect an idealized sequence of practical inquiry, and basically we're talking about critical thinking here. The first category of cognitive presence represented in the model, which is the lower left quadrant here, is um, the state of dissonance or feeling of unease resulting from experience or a trigger. And this is where our readings and discussions and your own investigation open doors to new questions or uncertainties, these triggering events. It's important and exciting to ask tough questions of one another and of me. And I hope that leads to and drives our uh, learning cycle effectively. Okay, lastly, about this model, I wanted to point out that it has a cyclical nature uh, in, in terms of its process. It's not static. The more time we spend working and thinking and discussing and deliberating, the more we'll learn. Now, of course, this is a very simplified visualization of a vastly complex process, but I think it valuable to bear in mind this process and these meta processes as you think about this learning experience, your previous learning experiences, and those you may design in the future. Okay, that's what I have to say on this subject. Have a read for yourself.